I would like to thank everybody for attending today's proposal meeting. In this proposal, I will review the external and internal business environment of our platform here at Disney Plus, and it will go over also strategic scanning of our business and go over a solution to a problem within the marketplace that we are now currently um, going through. And I will also go over through an implementation idea that I feel will better up the company. Currently, we have 86.8 million subscribers, which is fantastic. We have just made a year within the marketplace in November, and we are doing fantastic. We've blown our numbers out of the ballpark. On the other side of it, we know that the marketplace is heating up, and we have a lot of competitors. We have a lot of new things that are happening within the marketplace, and we need to make sure that we continue to move forward, that we continue to push the envelope within this marketplace so we can continue to grow and not lose our foothold that we have. The Disney Plus platform itself, like I had mentioned, was launched in 2019. On our platform, we feature Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, live action films, animated series, original content like feature films, documentaries, and so on and so forth. Now, our competition within this marketplace is cutthroat. Um, I have a statistic here that says that the AT&T Warner Brother is now streaming 10,000 hours of content and it was just launched last year in 2020. And they took big titles away from another big competitor, Netflix. So we have to notate that subscribers are wanting more. They've made it very clear that they want more, they need more. Due to the pandemic, people are streaming all the time and studios and production houses are having a hard time keeping up due to limited production times but we have to make sure that we are also providing this content for our consumers and another side note consumers have an easier time to have choice on who they want to cancel versus before now based on our consumer reviews, 89% of them are happy with the content that we provide currently on our platform. Also, many of our consumers feel that we're in a great price point for them and they're excited about our upcoming releases. Now, last year due to the pandemic, we did have to push back some of our titles from releasing and we are on that fast pace to try to get everything started to get re-released again um, with new dates. Now, here are the areas that we need to improve on as a company. 11% of our consumers cancel because they feel that it's not enough content. They feel that the content is geared to children more than to adults because we have specific content like Star Wars and Marvel that are for adults, but it's not enough variety to keep that 11% of the consumers. They're wanting, you know, to have more of content that you would find on Netflix, even on our Hulu platform, uh, content that you definitely are gonna get on HBO Max. They just wanna have a larger variety of content not being so, as we would say, PG. So we need to work on making sure that we do get together and launch more content that ha uh, it has a variety. Now another complaint that has come across the board is our theatrical rental pricing. This is something new due to the pandemic. So we've been playing with our numbers as we know. So when we launched Mulan, we released it with a $30 charge. It got a lot of slack for it. You know, people could 
hold on, not rent it, wait till December until it rolled out for free. But we've also released other titles like Hamilton for free and we saw how much our numbers had increased based on subscriptions because of not charging for that release. So what are we proposing here? So I'm proposing that we do a theatrical movie package and not something super expensive for our current subscribers. It's an, maybe a $10 add-on fee for them to be able to have access to our platform but to theatrical releases for a month. So our subscriptions are monthly based. So they would, they have upgraded their package which would cost 10, 10 extra dollars, they would be able to watch any re theatrical released movie that we have contracted on the platform. For non-subscribers, it would be $20 a month. 